Hey guys, video number two. This might be actually shorter because I don't want to shoot a whole bunch of videos all in the same shirt and then you're like, um, what I said in my last video was a little bit of an introduction of what has gone on, some, some of the conversations that have gone on with me and, you know, kind of me on my own, but then me once I talked to Whitney Jones, who is now, um, you know, training me and, and has been a real huge impetus in my life as far as making some significant um, changes and looking into things that I need to find out more about as far as my own health um, and make some big changes. One of the things I mentioned in my last uh, video was the fact that I've been on this uh, prescription spironolactone for two, uh, five years. And, you know, I didn't even re realize it, but I just kept taking it. I was prescribed this um, when I started to go, I didn't realize it at the time. No, I think I did. Um, I'll do a different video on all of this about what symptoms I started to have when I was starting to experience hormonal change that is called perimenopause, which can go on for years and years, like 10 years, before you go into actual menopause. And then there's postmenopause, all of those good things. And you know, don't think that this is all for a certain age, people. I started when I was 40, um, and some of my friends are having serious issues that are similar as far as hormonal imbalance. Some people start, they say perimenopause can last 20 years. Some people started in their, in their 20s. Um, there are no rules, and there are a lot of things that can affect hormonal imbalance. I have known all of this. I've read about hormonal imbalance and how cortisol affects this and adrenal fatigue, and I was always just, I think it was such an overload of information that I just thought, oh yeah, well, I have no idea how to do all that, so I'll just, you know, if this pill is making my skin look better, because my skin was the first thing that went crazy. Um, my body temperature changed. I had to change deodorants. I use this because my dermatologist told me to use it. Life changer. You put it on at night and you don't have to use, um, it actually works for like 72 hours. He was the one that told me that because for the first time in my life, I'd used secret deodorant my whole life and all of a sudden I'd be out and I could feel moisture under my arms and I'd never had it. So I was so paranoid and freaked out and when I was seeing the dermatologist at that time for my skin, um, he's like, he, I had asked about Botox for under the arms. He's like, let me just tell you, I can charge you for Botox, but what I'm going to tell you is to buy this um, and it will change everything. If you apply this at night, go on Amazon.com, read the reviews. You do not want to not follow directions. You do not want to apply this after you've just shaved under your arms. It works like a charm. But anyway, um, when I the first symptoms I had, other than my body temperature changing, there's some freaky people out there, um, is I started to get these bumps. Now they were not pimples. They're I, I don't know how to describe it, and I, I was seeing if I had one to show you, but I might have to do um, have one on my forehead. Anyway, um, but but I got bumps there. The best way for me to describe the bumps is, think of like a, a mosquito bite, but a mosquito bite that's more like under the skin. So not to be gross, but you know, if you have a pimple, you can go like that and it'll just pop or whatever, or if it's a pimple, you might, you know, whatever. If this, if, if the bumps that I would get would be a bump and I would see it, and if you try to move it, you know, I hate, let's be real. If you try to do anything to it, you could not, grab it. You, it. It would be under the skin. It was not above the skin. Uh, so it was under the skin, but it was enough that I could see it, I could feel it, and I don't want to say it itched, but I, I, I think I was just so aware of it because I had just the bumps. They were a lot up here, some on my lower arm. I still have scars from some of it. They were on my neck really bad, um, really bad on my neck, and then they started going down on my chest and then on my back. So when this was happening right around my divorce, actually, on top of everything else. Um, I went to see a doctor. They just put me on antibiotics, of course. When the antibiotics didn't work, they increased the dosage. When that didn't work, they doubled the strength. Um, when that didn't work, they sent me the dermatologist. The dermatologist was a guy. He did not listen to anything I said. I could tell. He's like, we'll just put you on Accutane. And I said, I don't have, these aren't pimples. You know, there's something wrong with 
me. I feel funny. I'm gaining weight. I, you know, my like my boots just got really like I think I went up two bra sizes and um, so it's training. I think I went up two bra sizes and it's just you you know that it was hormonal, right? When you your boots get bigger, you gain weight, you feel funny, all of this stuff. He prescribed Accutane like an idiot because I was desperate. I just took it and it cleared the skin situation up, but then it all came back. Well, I ended up going to see a woman dermatologist at a different office. She actually listened to me and she said, you know, I think that because you, the bumps that you have are here and they're starting to come up near your chin, um, you might have an, a version of adult onset, um, adult onset acne that happens with hormonal imbalance. She said, let's get your blood work done. So we got my blood work done. They called and they said, looks like you're starting perimenopause. And I remember I was like, sweet Jesus, um, which most people don't get excited about, most women. But I did because I felt like I, I had a reason for why all this bizarre stuff was happening. Um, now she put me on spironolactone because she said this has been shown to work. Um, I think I was on 50 milligrams then, or maybe 100. But I'm on 200 milligrams right now, which is the maximum dose. And as I said in my last video, it was when I started talking to Whitney, she was asking me questions about, you know, are you on birth control? What pills are you on? When I told her, A, how much of this I was taking and how long I was taking it, she's like, Kelly, you need to get yourself looked at. So once I started to think about that, I started to think about the fact that I'd had headaches for three weeks. You know, that made me question the birth control they put me on, which I could be wrong. I do think that it, it was my body getting used to this uh, birth control. I think that the headaches have 90% gone away. So I, I do think my body was adjusting to this. I've been off the pill for at least a year. But this, the more that I read about this, and the fact that you can be as a woman, men have, uh, can have hormonal imbalance as well. So this is not um, just for women, but certainly some of the stuff I'm talking about has to do with perimenopause, many, menopause or postmenopause, or just overall hormonal imbalance. Um, it can be addressed with natural, holistic um, solutions. I know I'm an Arbonne consultant, if you will, and that Arbonne has been known for their, um, they've got a progesterone cream and a, I, there's two uh, hormone creams, and, and I've never bought them, and I've, I've heard stories about women that are like, oh, it's a life changer. When I put something up on my Facebook page a couple of weeks ago, when I started to have this awareness of, holy shit, you know, I, I've never looked into any of this stuff, and I could have been damaging my body the past five, six years, thinking I was making myself better, but it's time to stop being passive about, you know, your life, your happiness, your health. You've got to like look into this stuff. And so not only am I going to do it for me, but we just realized this would be on, on two levels. This would be really great for us to do a series on. A, my training with Whitney just in general, because she's an awesome trainer. Um, and I think it'll be great to show what me and several other women that are in their 40s, what kind of results we get. Because so many women think, Oh, after 20, age 25, I've heard this, I've heard all this. After age 25, it's all downhill. After 30, it's downhill. After 40, no, it's not. It's a matter of what you choose to do. Sorry, my pants are falling down. Um, but I think that's going to be part of, I'm just telling you too, the first week of training. And we didn't even have specific bicep or tricep um, session. And my, whew. anyway, it's all good. So I think that's going to be part of what you guys, a, a lot of you, um, are going to like about the fact that your issues. I think it's going to be nice for you to be able to tune in and, and see and learn from that. And, and I'm taking front, side, and back pictures every single day so I can track um, my progress. And it's kind of, it's really cool. I feel great after the first week. But secondly, um, I think it's going to be nice, A, because I'm learning as I go along, but to share with you guys what I'm learning about things like this that can be prescribed, and better yet, you know, what are the natural, um, holistic or, you know, um, just more natural therapies, 
or solutions that can address some of this stuff so that you're not taking this and maybe it, it solves one problem, but it gives you so many other long-term problems that then you end up four years, five years later going with swear words in it. So I want you guys to tune in. This is, you know, just video number two. My other videos will be um, more organized <laughs> by topic, but I just, um, I'm having internet issues today with Comcast. Um, and it's Sunday and they can't fix it, so I thought, well, what the hell, I'll at least shoot a couple videos and I can upload them in the morning. And um, more to follow. You know, the goal is that we have at least one video a day. I'm going to shoot a ton over at Laura's house um, at her gym, and you'll get to meet them. We're going to shoot some um, kind of in the kitchen videos, making some, some cool food, and you'll, you'll get to see some of the type of stuff we're eating and um, enjoying, and that's it. I'm gonna go enjoy my day. I will talk to you guys later, okay? Yeah.